Big announcement today from the A3SA, also known as the ATSE 3.0 Security Authority, which is a group of television broadcasters responsible for the rollout of ATSE 3 Next Gen TV across the U.S. Working in conjunction with Next Gen TV tuner manufacturers, they have approved a new set of standards that address DVR recording, playback, and home network distribution of DRM encrypted content on standalone tuners and home network tuners alike. These new DVR specs pave the way for next-gen tuner manufacturers to offer new products that will allow viewers to record and play back DRM encrypted content and take advantage of some or all of the A3SA broadcast and coding rules that were put in place back in August of 2023 as a means of reassuring viewers that they would still be able to enjoy all of the viewing features of ATSC 1.0 broadcasts on ATSC 3 broadcasts, including recording and playback of DRM content, making an unlimited number of copies of a broadcast without any expiry dates, using so-called trick play features like pause, rewind, fast forward, and ad skipping, and also connection to analog outputs for older TV sets. Now, I take that to mean that the HDMI output on the next-gen tuner would not have any digital content protection imposed on it, And that would make it easy enough for someone to connect their next-gen tuner to an older TV set through some sort of adapter. However, I could be wrong about that. Now, one of the big highlights of these DVR specifications is that they affirm that home network tuners will be able to decrypt and record DRM encrypted content and viewers will be able to distribute that recorded DRM content across streaming devices connected to their home Wi-Fi network. So that's a big step forward because to this point in the process of rolling out next-gen TV, home network tuners such as the HD Home Run have not yet been granted DRM certification. Now, while this announcement about DVR specifications is certainly encouraging news for over-the-air TV viewers as well as early adopters of the ATSC3 next-gen TV standard, something to keep in mind here is the original A3SA broadcast and coding rules put in place last August that outlined all of these PVR recording playback functions clearly state that they only apply to ATSC3 broadcast signals that have an ATSC1 signal broadcasting alongside of it. So the big question is, will all of these DVR recording and playback features continue to be freely available to TV viewers once ATSC1 signals eventually shut down years from now. Will these rules go away once broadcasters are no longer required to provide an ATSC1 signal alongside their ATSC3 signals? That question has yet to be answered. Look in the video description for more information about this story and stay tuned to my channel for more updates.